Hey there, Professor Cloud here. As part of my challenge run challenge to support the ASPCA, I decided to attempt an endurance challenge within the great Souls-like game Death Store from Acid Nerve and Devolver Digital. Up until this point, I had only completed the game once before, and that was a pretty standard run. Welcome to the Umbrella Challenge. Okay, so this is going to be the Death's Door Umbrella Challenge. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I have played this game once before. As a matter of fact, you can see it right there. I 91.4%. Some, some of those last percentage points are tough. They are, they are very, very tough. Um, but just over 15 hours, big fan of the game. Big, big, big fan of the game. Actually, you know what? Let me pause for a second. Morning again? Yeah. Okay. So there's the regular sword. It is a very nice sword. I very much like the sword. I just gotta remember where the umbrella even is so that I can pick it up. I think it's up top, up over top of the uh, office. I love the roll. He's got such a cool roll. showed up for work. No worms for you. Because only the early bird catches... Never mind. Anyway, it's your lucky day. I actually have a soul for you to read. And not just any soul, a giant soul. Think of the commission on that. Hope you haven't forgotten your training. Stay on your talons. Giant souls don't often go peacefully. Dropping in your door for you now. With a soul that size, you might even be able to afford some time off. But remember, your door will remain open until you return with your designated soul. While your door is open, you will be mortal and you will age, so get it done quickly. Reaping souls to power the doors just so we can reap more souls, and the cycle repeats forever. The rat race, eh? Anyway, get to it and be careful. If you die, it's going to be a lot of paperwork, and I don't have the time. Ah, uh, okay. I gotta go find the umbrella so that I don't... Because if the, the minute that I use the sword on any enemy, I no longer have the ability to get the achievement for the umbrella. There it is. Right there. You found a discarded umbrella. It's just the thing to keep your feathers dry in grim weather. You can equip it from the weapons menu. Okay, so... Uh, what you're seeing here are the giant souls. We have to find three of them in order to get to the end of the game. Um, and then there, there are crystal shards that you're seeing here. Uh, four of them increase your magic ability. Four of them increase your health. And that can happen twice. Uh, but you've got to find shrines to find those crystal shards. Uh, and then here are the weapons. So we have now equipped the umbrella. I will not even bother getting the other weapons, um, including the one that's right out in the open uh, in front of the witch's uh, manor. So, and as you can see, half damage. Uh, with three swings being the uh, stamina, and a swing time of 0.4 and a range of 2.5. In comparison to the sword... It also has three swings, range of two and a half. Yeah, so the swings are almost ident the the weapons are almost identical, just half damage. And then shiny things are little things that we can find out in the world, controller bindings, and yep. Okay, moving on. <laughs> yeah, and we walk around like this. 
<laughs> I love it. Oh, Lord. And I'm already dead. Not really. I love this game. <laughs> I really do. I had so much... Don't get me wrong. I got very, very frustrated. But, um... Because there are definitely some things that I'm not a fan of. Uh, for example, you get no... Uh, iframes during roll. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, no, it has the same swing. It was just weird that it had a different, what seemed like a different swing type for that switch. Alright, nothing down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Hit it from up here. So, just a shortcut back. And I'm already going to be going into the fight... One health down. damage it during this. how I screwed that up so badly. Yeah, this game, much like uh, Blasphemous, has you take damage when um, touch the enemy. Yeah, dead. I rolled into that one. That one was my fault. That one was my fault. I started the whole fight, though, at a disadvantage, so... Greedy. As you can see, the damage is being shown by cracks in the enemy. I do 
it every time. I roll right into the freaking... Boss down. So just like in souls, you get souls. I just got a hundred souls for that. Um, we've cleared this area. For the most part, I think there's a way that we can do some other things when we get additional abilities. Oh. One of the things I'm very much going to want to do is... I, I will continue... I will be leveling up. That is one thing I will be doing. Um, this is not a SL1 run. So, our job right now is to follow him. Uh, we need to go grab what's on the other side of this door. Yeah, you collected a life seed. Planting one of these in a green pot will yield soul fruit, which can be consumed to restore your health. He, he, they do have the, the umbrella even though they say it has the same range I am not sure that that's true it definitely feels a hair shorter you collected a mass, soul, mass of soul energy soul energy can be spent in the hall of doors on reaper upgrades uh, unfortunately uh, not yet I need 400 to get the first upgrade. Or the first level, if you will. New door. And another soul. Massive souls. Uh, trying to remember. Alright, there's another life seed. We definitely want that. Maybe it's... Some of the hidden things are in areas like this. Nope. Where you can't see that there's another walkway around to the side. Is there another ladder that I missed? No. Okay. And I actually need to get better at this. One thing to keep in mind, you do not get a lot of souls from enemies. So, if you can... Oh, crap. Uh, if you can, run, run through. Now, there are certain sections like where I just was 
uh, that requires you to kill a specific number of enemies to unlock something. <clears throat> so if you'll notice, there's three blocks right there. And each time I kill one of them, it opens one. There we go. There's a planted seed. One of the achievements of the game is to find every life seed and plant them. Not just find them, but plant them also. Wow. Man. <laughs> this thing really does less damage. <laughs> So when you first come through here, if you're using the sword, one shot on the flyers, three shots on the guys that grab, two shots on the big guys that we saw at the very beginning. So we just found a key which goes to the gate that we saw a little while ago. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, right here. And just like souls, you know, the enemies respawn after each death. And if I were to leave this area and come back, they would respawn. That's unfair. Yeah, and that's just wrong on my part. This is one thing that I really enjoyed about this game, is unlike any other Souls, Souls-like, or shit, even any other action RPG, the enemies can actually hurt each other. That's something you almost never see anywhere. Uh, so that sometimes happens, where you'll get spawns of enemies, and... You won't be, you know, it basically locks you into an area for a while. Um, so those are times, obviously, when you're going to have to to kill and not speed through. Ah, a reaper. This is Steadhone the Grave Digger. 
My time in this world is over. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm still alive. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe if you try hitting me with a harder attack. <laughs> hmm. No. Still here and still very much alive. Perhaps try a bit of a run-up. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It happens to everyone. I'm afraid I'm burdened with unending life. I can't explain it, and I've spent untold years seeking an answer. My name is Steadhome. I'm the keeper of graves on this sacred mountain. Oh, and if you do find yourself strengthened somehow, feel free to try and kill me again. Here lies a guardian of the door, a preserver of order, and a home to stray souls. I know what it takes to get that ladder. I just uh, can't do anything about it at the moment. I really should be using more of my arrows... So this is the uh, walkway that we saw the Grey Crow. Which takes us back to our door if we want to. So this is one of those sections that I was talking about where they uh, kind of hide and there's one of the crystal shrines. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a vitality crystal. Collecting four will raise your vitality beyond its limits. In my first playthrough, I did... See, that's, an, that's another achievement. Um, I did not find all of them. There are 16 total, uh, because you're able to raise your health twice and your magic twice. I found 10. I almost got bit. Yeah, see, for all of the enemies that I've, I've uh, killed right now, I've only basically collected 45 for 50 souls so far. And I'm just going to go ahead and run through here. follow you up ladders. Uh, the flyers can, obviously, but none of the walkers will. 
<coughs> okay, I am uh, unfortunately not a fan of this next section. I am really struggling with the range of my weapon here. Um, you can bat missiles back. Damn it. Now that's wrong. That worked. there. Look at all the blood. <laughs> oh, god damn it. It wouldn't let me get out of the way. Again, it, it kept blocking me. And then that happens. One of my biggest complaints is on stuff like that. It, it's the because there is no iframes, you can very easily get yourself stuck against an enemy. All right, where am I at? Souls. Okay, I've got 402 souls. So, actually, I need it. I'm, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to go back to the door. Assuming I can find it. That's not it. Yeah, there. unfortunately, there's not a, a map anywhere. Um, no matter where you are in the game. There we go. Okay. 
Little Crow. This is Darwin the Vault Keeper. Do I sense a glut of soul energy? Come here and you can trade in those souls to gain an edge in combat. Yeah, so the two things I really am going to focus on early is attack damage and attack speed. Welcome to the vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? So we have strength, which obviously is damage. Uh, and it'll increase their reach, too. That's why it doesn't feel right. I got so used to level 5. Uh, dexterity. The Reaper's ability to attack with speed and precision. Yeah. Raising this will allow the Reaper to charge their melee and ranged attacks faster and increase the speed at which melee attacks can be chained together. Uh, and then haste is the movement speed. So faster dodges, less cooldown time between dodges. And then lastly is magic, which raises the um, increases the damage done with magic spells and ranged abilities. Um, seeing as I'm going to be focusing a lot on magic, I actually think early on it's going to be better to get that ra raised up quickly. So let's go ahead and raise that one up a level. Okay. Oh yeah, let's talk to the other guy here. Oh, ho ho ho! This is Agatha the Typist. You beautiful, careless sunflower. Looks like you've made quite a mess of things with that last assignment. Don't worry, I'll sort the paperwork out for you. Hee hee. This is going to require supplementary forms. My lucky day. And then we got a gentleman here. Oof, you lost your assignment? That's rough, buddy. It's been so quiet the past few years. Advances in medicine or something, I expect, so annoying. We need a new plague. <laughs> I'm gonna go broke. Basically, he wants more death so that he can work and find more souls. Okay, let's go back. I'm not in the right place. Or I didn't go the right way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's over here. Never mind. I know where I am. Yeah, it's up this... Yeah, yeah. It's up these stairs. Yeah, this is... Okay. Yeah, we've got another boss fight. This is my favorite-looking boss fight. It's not my favorite boss fight, but it's my favorite looking boss fight. and you ran right into it. I, I don't... I'm not sure... 
sure what I'm doing wrong there. I can't get away from it, and I've only been able to get away from it once. Oh. Yeah. You're also very limited on when you can hit it melee-wise. I was just being dumb.
God. This is why this is a challenge. Even on... Even with... The overpowered... Or the... Up-leveled... Arrows. Because you only get four... I have to get into melee range in order to actually get back some of my magic. Oh, man. These boss fights are going to be tough. That it, oh. it again would not let me because of whatever it it does when it floats. Made the turn at the wrong time. Damn it. I was greedy. That was my fault. I was greedy. Oh. If, I, if it wasn't for the laser, the laser is the thing that bothers me the most about the whole thing. Uh, I, uh, 
That bothers me so damn much. Man, this is really starting to annoy me now. Because this is not a hard boss fight. Certainly not in comparison. The The final boss fight is a bitch. The, the, it, it's, it's pure endurance. Okay, I think I just figured something out. I think. I think I might have just figured something out with the laser. I, I ran out of room.
Now I can't see. Yeah, this is my big problem right now. Is he's at a weird angle. So I can't see where I want to hit him. There it is. Woo! Woo, that was fun. <laughs> it, it, when I did it the first time, I beat him second time. Um, second time around, and I actually felt it was a little bit too easy. So doing it with the umbrella actually felt more challenging. That, that was fun. My, as I mentioned at the when we first started doing it, I, my biggest problem was with the I'm not sure what that just did. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is one of the cool secrets. Um, it opened up that gate. That's what it did. Which allowed me to get that. Um, Alright, that's where I came up. Uh, my biggest problem that I was running into was the laser. I couldn't consistently stay away from the laser. And then I think I, I figured something out right there. The last uh, two tries, or the last two attempts. Where... As I would go in a straight line, once I saw that it was, you know, within touching distance of me, I would roll to the side. And that would give me a big gap again to then start moving back toward in a straight line. <clears throat> it ended up working very, very well. Alright, so we want to go this way. And talk to him. Oh, hello, fledgling. And I apologize, I can't do voices. So, you're going to get the same voice for every single character. Sorry about the crack on the head, but I needed that soul. <clears throat> you see, I was a reaper, just like you. Years ago, my assignment evaded capture. It took many months to track it down to this location. Upon arrival, I discovered it had somehow passed through this door. Inconceivable. Do you know where we are, fledgling? This is Death's Door. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, it act Surprisingly, because you're still in my activity feed from when you followed, it actually shows it as the, the new name in my activity feed, so it updated automatically. I, I wasn't positive that it was you, um, but thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. The end point for all life. I thought it was just a legend. As you know, all doors are powered by the energy of souls. Perhaps with a truly monumental amount of power, even this one could be forced open. Sadly, the soul I stole from you was not enough. I'm afraid that our fates are very much intertwined now, fledgling. For you, for with your assignment incomplete, your death is now inevitability. Inevitability. Man, try saying that five times fast. Without the soul that now resides behind this door, you are trapped, just like me. However, fortune may still smile upon us. This cursed land is hidden to the reapers, somehow untouched by the laws of nature. The creatures here have the potential to live vastly beyond their years, growing ever larger and more powerful. I know of three such beings on these isles whose combined soul energy could grant us the power to wedge this door open. To the north lives an old witch, obsessed with escaping the clutches of death. 
Beyond the forest to the east, a self-proclaimed king rules over the ruins of a flooded cathedral. And atop the mountain to the west, a beast of untold years, primal and vicious with no want or desire. And that's a bitch of a fight. Uh, I am truly sorry to have entangled you, fledgling. But in my advanced years, my body grows weary. Your path is your own now. Either venture into the wilds and reap those giant souls, or choose inaction and suffer the same fate as this old fool. for guidance on where to head next. I suggest you head north. There lives an old witch, obsessed with escaping death. Um... Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, north it shall be. As I said, I've, I've played this game before, so I... Or I've completed it already, so I already knew where to go. This is just the Umbrella Challenge. Uh, so this direction is part of what's considered the true ending of the game. There's actually two endings. So let's... Alright, so that gives me that ladder. And this would take me to, yeah, this would take me to, um, oh, actually, I'm not sh sure, no, it doesn't, okay. Um, I thought it took me to another shrine, but definitely not, it's, uh, yeah, it's up top, it's up further. Now, unfortunately, based on time, we're not going to have time, and considering how many attempts it took me to beat the castle boss, um, we're probably not going to have time to make it all the way to the witch. Uh, make it to Witch's Manor. And then we'll go from there. And, well, and then we'll wrap this up tomorrow, or continue this next time. I uh, Okay. We're good. Uh, what does that put me at? Two, 300? 303? Okay. Wanted to see how many souls I had. They did, I mean, look at how great the lighting is in this game. The lighting in this game is phenomenal. So this is our new area. There's another life seed. Pick that up. I don't think there's anything over here. No. Unless there's something in these bushes. And I gotta search the bushes. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. You'll see why I'm singing that song in a minute. <laughs>
Burn your weapons and spread joy. because uh, they tend to open up into secret areas. You'll, I, you might have seen these throughout. Um, this is just an area that we can uh, break open later when we get a new power. There's, As you can see in the top uh, left-hand corner, there are four diamonds there. Each one's going to con uh, contain a magic power. Uh, right now, we only have the arrow, but there will be a hook that we'll be able to use to get across this water later. That's very late in the game. Um, there is a fireball and there is a bomb that goes along with the arrow. Oh, uh, am I still at 300? Yeah, still 303. Okay. <clears throat> Again, just making sure that I'm not missing any breaks in the hedges. Nope. Okay. Oh, another new friend. This is why I was yell uh, doing the song. Oh, hello there, my big-faced fellow. It is quite unusual to see one of your kind upon these aisles. I imagine you must be here for a soul. Not me, I should hope. Anyway, it seems our paths have intersected at an opportune moment. You may not have noticed, but I have been cursed with an unusual affliction. Yeah, teapot head. Judge me not by the shape of my head, but by the deliciousness of the soup inside. <laughs> yeah, pothead. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, beak face. I've, I've played the game before, and it's still funny. It would seem that my journey has reached an impasse. I haven't been able to overcome the obstacles ahead and unlock the Iron Gates. If you would help me move on, I should be indebted to you, and we could push forward together. Okay. Uh, let's see. As I mentioned, breaks in the hedges. Because I'm doing an any percent here, I'm going to be skipping quite a few enemies, mostly because it's not worth it. Uh, so I need to make sure that I do find all of those. And then this also takes me to here. Oh, that's right. I can't go any further. Because I don't have the hook. I swung too soon. Swung too soon. So the pothead enemies are pretty much the same grabbers as in the other area, just with potheads.
ev with use of the umbrella, I am going to be forced to do a lot of deflecting, if at all possible. Ah, uh, the Garden of Joy. And I don't have any seeds. So that gives me a... Uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but you can reclaim your magic power, of which right now I have four, <clears throat> by uh, striking things, whether it's enemies, boxes, mushrooms on the ground. Have you ever played this game? If you hadn't, if you haven't, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, that's where I came from. Uh, what am I? Oh, never mind. I know what I'm missing. I do have to do both sides here. I only have to do the right side up top. I have not. It looks interesting. I love this game. This is my second playthrough. Um, and they basically set the game up. It, it, it has a very similar Souls-like feel to it, but obviously uh, more childlike in nature. Uh, but they set it up for challenge runs. So right now there is a weapon that you could equate to the Broken Straight Sword in Dark Souls that does half the damage of any weapon, of any of the other weapons, um, and they actually have an achievement for just beating the game using the umbrella. Now, you're still allowed to use magic, um, but uh, they want you to try and just use the umbrella, and it's been rough already. Um, the, the first, not the first boss, the second boss was rough, was very rough. Okay, let's go get the next switch. <clears throat> yeah, I, I absolutely love this game. Acid Nerve... Uh, did a phenomenal job, in my opinion. Uh, this isn't their first game. Their first game is a game called Titan Souls. I do that every time. Their arrows, or their draw and release, is so slow that uh, I, I miss it almost consistently. I'm good with the magic guys, but those guys, I just, I, I, man. I was trying to hit the explosive barrel. And there we go. I was trying to blow him up, and it didn't work. Yeah, this is the best. Damn it. I don't know why I just did that. You can 
stop them from firing by hitting them, but you can't do that with the bow and arrow guys. So I've just I've got to get better at timing them. are as slow as they are with their draw and release. They're just as slow. The arrows move just as slowly. The Garden of Peace. And I still haven't found any more life seeds. not sure I can deflect the arrows based on what I just saw. Oh, I got... That is my biggest complaint. My biggest complaint of this game. There is no iframe at all. So if you butt up against an enemy... Even if it's in a scenario where it can't hurt you because touching an enemy will harm you, you can get stuck. This might not have been a smart idea. No, it was not a smart idea. I've got everybody and their brother chasing me. And that wasn't what I, I was trying to hit the damn... Well, that worked well. This is bad. speed run that section. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. He was supposed to materialize there.
I enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing that immensely. Oh, come on. this time. Plus we open ourselves up a shortcut, thereby allowing us to skip the guys up, up top. Nice. Does that give me access to anything? Or is it just a shortcut? Yeah, it's just a shortcut. I get a little too much enjoyment out of that, I think. <laughs> Just a little bit too much enjoyment out of that. Hurrah! We can now venture onward, my steadfast companion. But first, we should grant ourselves a moment of respite. Come, sit with me a while. As I mentioned upon our meeting, I was not always quite so earthenware in appearance. This strange curse was visited upon me by the wicked old lady who resides in the mansion beyond these lavish gardens. I imagine you are here for her, are you not? Surely her soul must be swollen and ripe for the reaping due to her, unnaturally extended years. I desire naught but to confront the old witch and request she undo her ceramic deed, and restore me to my former handsome self. I was quite the looker, you know. Soup? So be it. Let us push on once more. This is such a great game. <clears throat> okay. And again, I've got no life seeds. I haven't found a single life seed since I first entered the area. I know I have to go... Oh, shit. causing me problems. Alright, there's some more souls. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Okay. That's, uh, that takes you to a secret place, the Garden of Love, and we haven't found what we need to open it. Ah, another life seed. Thank the Lord. I don't think I can make it from here. I know I would need a bomb to get in there. Okay, nope. Sorry, I got to run eating with the family. No problem, dude. I understand. Have a good time. I'm going to be getting off here in a little while anyway. I'm just going to get myself to the beginning of the next area, and then I'll probably call it. Because I've already been streaming for 5 hours and 40 minutes. Right. Oh there, my friend. I would make a good statue, would I not? So here we are. This edifice may look unassuming, even becalming. However, keep your wits about you. Untold dangers await us inside. Now let us dive from the precipice of adventure and enter the belly of the beast. Together. Oh. For some reason I could have sworn I had to go that way. But I can't get there without the bomb. Or can I? No, I just can't get through there without the bomb. Okay. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, for some particular reason, I thought I had to open this gate. Now, there is a new weapon right there. That shiny thing that we just saw. But it is a bitch to get to because of one particular enemy that I seriously struggle with. So, we're not going to do it. <laughs> Alright, here's another opening in the hedge. This takes us here. Which doesn't do anything for us. However, gives us access to this. And we got ourselves another shrine. The ancient shrine offers you a shard from a magic crystal. Collecting four will raise your magic cap capacity beyond its limits. So we've now got one vitality crystal and one magic crystal. We need three more of each in order to increase our health or magic. 
And as I said, I've only, in my regular playthrough, I've only found 10. Uh, at some point, I am going to go back to my regular playthrough, and uh, I, I really would like to try and get as close to 100% as possible. One of, or all of the achievements as possible. One of the achievements, though, is uh, going to be rough. It's just going to be very tedious. <clears throat> you go on ahead. I'll guard the door. And we got ourselves a new door. And we've got enough souls to upgrade, so we're or level up. So we're going to do that real quick, and then I think we're going to call it here. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is just periodically keep moving this game forward. Uh, when we have you know an hour or two at the end of a run after a run's been done of Resident Evil, uh, to keep doing this challenge as well. Okay. Um, we need 600. Oh, to get increase the magic. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to do this now. And then the next one I do is I'm going to increase magic to 600, and then we'll come back. What I what I want to do is do level two of both of these, strength and magic. Then we'll come back and we'll increase uh, haste and dexterity before we continue down. Because it's, it's 400, 600, 800, 1,000, and then I think 1,500... to get the final, if I remember correctly. So, okay. Uh, up here? Yeah. And that's the matter. Okay, so we've made it to the Ceramic Manor, which is the Urn Witch's Mansion. And this is where we will call finish up part one of the Death's Door Umbrella Challenge. I hope you stick around for part two next time. <laughs>